Hey guys, it's me, Jessica, aka Intriguing One, here on YouTube. Today is Wednesday, February 9th, and I am coming on to do a quick video uh, because Miss Rosemary Gastric Rose tagged me um, in a tag game that started from Antonia uh, for the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, they are the ones that are hosting the mother of all meet and greets in Vegas in May. Um, and this is part of the tag game. Here's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to give you three reasons on why you want, wait a minute, why you need to go to the meet and greet. Um, I'm supposed to tag three people who will then also give their take on why they are going or why they want to go or why you should go or need to go or whatever. Um, and then lastly, I am supposed to give Connie, um, some advice. So, here goes. I'm going to start off with the three people I want to tag. I don't know for sure if these people are going to the meet and greet, um, but I just randomly kind of pick three people as far as that I'm subscribed to on YouTube, and, um, hopefully you guys can participate and make a video, even if you're not coming. I can probably bet that you guys can think of three reasons on why you would want to go or why others would want to go. So hopefully you'll still play along even if you aren't going. Um, so the people that I'm tagging are Jeff, who is bald man, or I'm sorry, bald family man, uh, 39. Again, Jeff, bald family man, 39. Um, second, I'm tagging Becca, and her YouTube name is Losing It With Rebecca. And thirdly, I'm going to change or uh, um, tag Jen Ithenspire. So uh, Jeff, Becca, and Jen. Hopefully, we'll see your videos. Um, now let's go back. Three th reasons on why you have to go to the meet and greet. Hello. First of all, it's for a great cause. You're going to meet great people, and I'm not even going to count that as number one because that's just obvious. I mean, you are going to get to meet all the people that you watch here on YouTube, all the superstars of the world, and everyone in between. So people that maybe don't post anything, and people that you see their faces every day. So what a better place to get with people that you can relate to than going to Vegas and meeting everybody in person. I mean, we have shared a lot of our journeys here, and um, I can tell you that I cannot wait to go. Um, I feel so close to some of you guys, um, it's not even funny and I've never heard your voice or met you and it's just kind of crazy to have that strong of a connection. So that goes without saying. I'm going to start with number one. And I tried to pick reasons that were meaningful to me and um, some might be a little serious and others might be a little funny. Number one, however, is very serious and sentimental, and I can only imagine how wonderful and emotional it is going to see Connie and her get issued her grant to have her surgery that she has longed for for so long and tried and been denied and denied and denied, and finally, because of this organization, she is finally going to get the help that she needs and I'm sure there won't be a dry eye in the house when this happens because everybody out there knows um, Rosemary and Connie and um, I'm, I'm as happy for Rosemary as I am for Connie because I know how much this means to her as well so I am really looking forward to watching this and seeing Connie there and see her well onto her journey. Um, two, now come on who doesn't want to see the flash mob dance or be a part of it? I mean, this is going to be so fun and funny. Your belly is going to hurt because you're laughing so hard. I mean, this is going to be a blast. So again, what a better way to connect with the people that you know so well here on YouTube than to share an experience like this and have fun and laugh. And by the way, laughing is good exercise. And third on my list. Hello! freebies people free bees I mean for the girl that loves clearance and coupons I couldn't be any better right not only freebies 
but there is going to be a raffle. You might have to put a little deposit, $5 for a raffle ticket, but come on. We're talking about right now a bike with the click. Uh, there's also a photo shoot from, uh, oh, I even signed up for one myself and I can't remember, something beautiful. Uh, Forever Beautiful, I believe is it, it is. Um, so you have an option of winning a photo shoot. Um, also, what else was on there? Hmm. I don't know what else was on there, but guys, this supports a great cause. We're all in this community and we've leaned on each other so much from the beginning to the end. People that are just starting, people that have been here for years. I mean, what a better way to come together as a group and support the community in person, not to mention the organization that is going to help people like Connie and Sarah. And I just am so happy and excited to be a part of this community and I cannot wait. So that is my three people I'm tagging, my three reasons on why you need to go to Vegas. And then um, my piece of advice for Connie is I found a quote because so often in this journey we have ups and downs and I know prior to surgery for me when I had those down moments is always when I gave up. I gave in to temptation, I gave up on my goals, I just gave up on myself and I think the one thing that we have to remember even on this journey on the post-op side is that we cannot give up or give in. There may be times or moments where we don't do the right things or make 100% of the right choices or whatever, but I found a quote and it's um, by Helen Keller and I'm going to read it here real quick and hopefully it means something to Connie because I know it does to me. It says, I am only one, but I am still, let me, let's try this again. I am only one, but still I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do something that I can do. And I think that is prolific to me because I know especially at the beginning of the journey, you watch some people out there and Rosemary, your sister was talking about it the other day when Bandit Winnie gave her some advice to get out there and push and bump it up a little bit more, as she said. And she did that. And now look at her. She's doing an hour of exercise a day when before she couldn't do that. And all she did was push herself a little bit further. And she always made sure that she did something. And that's something that I try to live by. There are days when I go to the gym and I kill it. And I'm just like on fire, I feel good, I did this, I beat this goal, blah, 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 blah. And there are other times I don't want to go to the gym. There are a gazillion reasons why I think I don't want to, I uh, just skip it. But as long as I do something, I don't have to hit it at the gym or every meal like I'm a perfectionist or that I'm perfect because God knows I am not. None of us out there are perfect. And I think that's the one thing that we all have to realize is that no matter what we do, no matter what road we take for that moment or that choice, is that does not have to define our results. We just have to say that we're going to do something. And if that something today is a five minute walk around the block, that's something. And then maybe tomorrow it's 10 minutes of something. Next week, it's 30 minutes of something. So again, we just got to do something. We got to do something to make the right decisions on what food to eat, on what exercise to do. It all comes to our choices. And I think that's when we have to go by this last comment. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do something that I can. So if we can do it, we should do it because it's right for us and it's right for our bodies, it's right for our health, and most of all, it feels good. Even the days that I do not want to go to the gym, once I get done, I feel so much better. Not only that I got something done for myself, but I pushed myself past my comfort zone. And really, that's the best advice that I can give to you is don't let yourself get down, don't give up, keep fighting. 
on the good days and the bad days because you're still going to have those. And I know, Connie, that you have a great support system. you got Rosemary on your side as your twin sister, and she is the queen of positivity. So I can only imagine that you have got a great support system between your sister and your husband and your family. So, girl, I'm rooting for you, and I can't wait to see and watch your journey progress. So, anyways... I think I said I was going to do a short video, and I think it turned out to be a long video, so I'm going to get the heck out of here before I don't shut up, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.